So I'm not a professional when it comes to operating a PTO driven wood chipper, but I have had lots of experience with running small gas motor driven wood chippers. I'm extremely thankful for all my friends and subscribers that has offered their tips and tricks when it comes to running a machine like this. So let's take a few minutes and pull all this together so I can pay their kindness forward and share my experiences with any would-be user. Well, hello YouTube and welcome back to Retired for Life. So let's talk about this wood chipper. So what we're gonna start with is talking about some best practices and tips and tricks for running a machine like this. I always have the wrench nearby that you need to open the flywheel housing just in case you get a jam up or something else goes wrong. You don't wanna to have to run back to your shop to find the tools you need to get this housing open. Before you start your chipper, give it a check over to make sure everything is in good working order. If you have hydraulics, check for any signs of leaks from your tank or from hoses or the motor. And don't forget to check your oil level in the hydraulic tank. Running a hydraulic pump dry could cause very serious damage to it. Check all the belts on your chipper to make sure everything is properly tensioned and check to make sure that your PTO jack shaft is properly hooked up. Make sure your chipper is sitting firmly on the ground. You don't want it to be hanging from your three-point hitch while the chipper's running. If you have a foldable end chute like this chipper has, make sure you've got it extended out and locked into place and that your chip exit chute is facing in the direction that you want your chips to be going. Once you've started your chipper, make sure you don't have anything in your pockets like a wrench or a screwdriver that could fall into the infeed chute. This could cause an incredible amount of damage. Once you've started your chipper, run one piece through on its own to make sure everything is working properly. Don't try chipping cedar branches, especially freshly cut small cedar branches that still have the bark on them. And the same goes for pine branches. The small pine branches with needles on them will get caught up in your chipper and will jam it. Any small green branches that you try to put through this chipper could end up getting tangled around the axle for the flywheel. So be careful about what you choose to put through the chipper. Always keep an eye on your exit chute to make sure you're seeing chips coming out of there all the time. If the chips stop flowing, then there may be an issue inside your chipper. Stop the chipper right away and shut down the tractor. When you're finished running the chipper for the day, it's a good idea to open up the housing and check the inside of the flywheel housing and the inside of the chip chute to make sure everything is clear and damage free. While you've got the housing open, check your blades to make sure that they're undamaged and still sharp and your clearance with the anvil looks like it's still proper. You also want to make sure that you don't have any branches tangled up around the axle for the flywheel. It's always better to catch these issues early in case there is a problem coming up. And you could also head off any problems that could arise without checking this kind of thing. Plus this just gets you one step closer to being able to start up and run your chipper the next time. So all you've got left to do now is to fold up your intake chute and put the machine away. All right, with that part out of the way, let's talk about safety. Be sure you're wearing proper PPE. This will include safety glasses or goggles, ear protection, steel toe work boots and gloves. 
Also make sure you're not wearing any loose clothing that could get caught and get pulled in with branches. So this is an example of good PPE. And this with the use of the chainsaw helmet is better. And this is just ridiculous. I don't know. Safety sandals? I don't think so. Never walk in front of the chip exit chute while the chipper is running. If the chipper jams, try reversing the infeed roller and never reach down inside the chipper while it's running. Never open the flywheel housing while the chipper is running. And the last thing on our list is don't fool around with the PTO jack shaft while the chipper is running or while the tractor is on. Well, folks, we've had a bit of fun with this video. I hope you found it interesting, well, at the very least a little bit entertaining. So as I said earlier, I am not an expert on these things. I'm learning as I go and I'm sharing that with you. And I really appreciate all the information that I have been getting from other subscribers and friends about how to run these things properly and safely. And I'm very happy to have the opportunity to pay that forward. So if you folks have got any other suggestions, safety tips, anything like that, with running a chipper like that, please share it in the comments for everybody else to see. So for now, thanks very much for watching. Remember, stay safe out there, be good to each other, and we will see you out on the trails the next time.